Nobel Prize-winning physicist Adam Rees has just dropped a cosmic bombshell. Our understanding of the universe might be more incomplete than we thought. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, scientists have stumbled upon a baffling discovery, once again proving that the cosmos doesn't follow the rules we've written for it. Here's the big question. Why is the universe expanding way faster than the standard model says it should? This mystery, known as the Hubble Tension, has been keeping scientists up at night for years. But now, researchers from the universities of Bonn and St. Andrews think they've cracked the case. Their revolutionary solution only works if we're willing to toss out one of the biggest pillars of modern physics, Einstein's theory of gravity. In today's deep dive, we'll uncover what the Webb Telescope has revealed from the farthest corners of space, and how this daring new theory could finally solve one of the greatest cosmic mysteries ever. It's hard to believe, but in less than three years of operation, Webb has already rocked the foundations of how we think the universe works. If you've been paying attention, you've probably heard about its jaw-dropping discoveries, galaxies that are way too big and heavy to have formed so soon after the Big Bang, just a few hundred million years into cosmic history. These unexpected giants earned the nickname Universe Breakers because, frankly, their existence threatens to break our entire model of how the universe grew. But is that title really fair? Maybe not. A groundbreaking new study suggests these strange red objects might not be oversized galaxies at all. They could actually be young, rapidly growing black holes in disguise. If most of the light we're seeing is actually coming from these bizarre, massive objects, then the mystery might not be as dire as it seemed. We're not dealing with impossibly large baby galaxies that threaten to topple our entire cosmological model like a house of cards. And while this explanation still needs more observational proof, it looks like scientists might be heading down the right path. Unfortunately, the same can't be said for another equally troubling issue in modern astronomy. As we touched on earlier, the universe is expanding much faster than our theories predict. We owe the discovery of the universe's expansion to none other than Edwin Hubble, who, about a century ago, realized that the Milky Way wasn't the only galaxy out there, and that other galaxies are steadily drifting away from us. This breakthrough also led to another groundbreaking idea. If the universe is expanding, then rewinding time points us back to a single, incredibly dense starting point. That point, of course, is what we now call the singularity, the seed of the Big Bang Theory. But fast forward to the 1990s, and astronomers uncovered an even bigger surprise. The universe's expansion isn't just continuing, it's speeding up. To explain this unexpected acceleration, scientists propose the existence of dark energy, a mysterious, invisible force working against gravity and pushing the cosmos apart. But here's the million-dollar question. How fast is the universe actually expanding? At first glance, it sounds like a simple thing to measure. Yet, it's turned into one of the biggest puzzles astronomers have faced for years. Why? Because when we use the standard cosmological model to calculate the universe's expansion rate, known as the Hubble constant, we get a value of about 67 kilometers per second per megaparsec. Seems straightforward, right? But in reality, this number is at the heart of the so-called Hubble tension, a major discrepancy that's challenging our understanding of the cosmos. Sure, the unit might sound a little odd at first, but once you know that a megaparsec equals about 3.26 million light years, it's easier to grasp. In simple terms, this means that for every 3.26 million light years of distance, galaxies are moving away from each other 67 kilometers per second faster. To put it another way, that's roughly 244,000 kilometers per hour per megaparsec. Sounds solid, on paper at least. But here's the twist. Real-world observations tell a different story. Direct measurements from space have shown that the universe's actual expansion rate is much higher. 
By studying supernovae, gravitational lenses, variable stars, and red giants, scientists have consistently calculated a value of about 73 kilometers per second per megaparsec, or 264,000 kilometers per hour per megaparsec. That's a difference of nearly 20,000 kilometers per hour per megaparsec compared to the theoretical prediction. This significant gap is what scientists call the Hubble tension. But why is there such a big mismatch? Could it simply be a case of flawed measurements throwing off the numbers? That's exactly what researchers set out to investigate by using the James Webb Space Telescope to double-check the data originally gathered by the Hubble telescope. Leading the effort was Nobel Prize winner Adam Rees from Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore. His team took a close look at variable stars, red giants, and a special class of carbon-rich giant stars to see if earlier observations had somehow gone astray. But their findings were clear. The discrepancy still stands. Even with the most detailed web data set so far, the measured expansion rate came out to 72.6 kilometers per second per megaparsec, virtually the same as before. In other words, the gap between theory and observation isn't due to measurement errors or problems with the Hubble telescope's data. As Adam Rees himself put it, the discrepancy between the observed expansion rate of the universe and the predictions of the standard model suggests that our understanding of the universe may be incomplete. With two NASA flagship telescopes confirming each other's results, we must take the problem of discrepancies in the Hubble constant very seriously. But what's really going on here? Or to put it another way, if our understanding of the universe is incomplete, what exactly are we missing? Adam Rees offers a few possible answers. It could be the influence of some exotic form of dark energy or dark matter, or maybe the existence of an entirely new kind of particle or energy field. Or, perhaps most provocatively, it could be that our understanding of gravity itself is flawed. Could Einstein have been wrong? Interestingly, that last possibility might be the key. A research team from the universities of Bonn and St. Andrews has proposed that gravity could behave very differently from what we've long believed, and that this difference might finally solve the mystery of the Hubble tension. In simple terms, their idea suggests that the Milky Way sits inside a supervoid, a giant, unusually empty region of space. Now, thanks to massive cosmic surveys, we know that the universe isn't just a chaotic scattering of matter. Instead, it's organized into a cosmic web made up of dense filaments of galaxies and vast empty spaces called voids. Together, they form an intricate structure resembling a giant 3D network. A study led by Sergei Mazarenko proposes that our galaxy happens to lie inside one of these supervoids. And if that's true, it could neatly explain the mysterious discrepancy in the universe's expansion rate. To picture it, the researchers use the analogy of an air bubble inside a cake. Because the space outside the bubble, the cake, is denser with matter. Gravity from that denser region pulls galaxies toward the edges of the bubble. From our vantage point inside the bubble, it looks like galaxies are moving away from us faster than they actually are, giving the illusion of a higher expansion rate. In other words, the universe's accelerated expansion might not be universal after all. It could just be a local effect caused by living in an underdense region of space. Sounds elegant, right? But there's a catch. Here's the problem. According to the standard model of cosmology, such massive voids shouldn't exist at all. The model predicts that matter across the universe should be distributed much more evenly. And yet, the researchers point to a puzzling observation. A group of galaxies, 600 million light years away, appears to be moving away from us at speeds four times faster than what the standard model predicts. This anomaly suggests that something unusual really is happening in our cosmic neighborhood, possibly supporting their bold hypothesis. 
But that's not the whole story. The scientists also point out something even more intriguing. The standard model is built on Einstein's theory of gravity, and it's possible that Einstein wasn't entirely right. More specifically, they're questioning whether gravity behaves differently than Einstein predicted. To explore this, the researchers ran computer simulations using a modified theory of gravity. That theory is known as Modified Newtonian Dynamics, or Moen D, first proposed in the 1980s by Israeli physicist Mordechai Milgrom. Although it's long been viewed as a fringe theory, Mond offers an alternative explanation for how galaxies rotate. Instead of relying on mysterious dark energy to explain cosmic behavior, Mondi tweaks the equations of motion themselves, essentially rewriting how matter moves under gravity. And here's where it gets interesting. Mond also predicts the existence of massive empty bubbles in space, just like the supervoid theory suggests. That's the key connection. If gravity really works the way Milgram proposed, then there would actually be a single, consistent expansion rate for the universe. The discrepancies we observe, the so-called Hubble tension, wouldn't be signs of a broken model, but simply the result of living in a universe where matter isn't spread out evenly. Of course, whether Mond will ever move from outsider theory to mainstream science is still an open question. Accepting it would mean letting go of some deeply rooted assumptions about gravity, a seismic shift in physics. And before we wrap up, here's one last thing. If you enjoyed this cosmic journey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Join our community so you never miss out on the latest discoveries and deep dives into the universe.